Hi, my name is Amy. I'm a senior wildlife care specialist here at the San Diego Zoo, and I'm the primary tiger keeper that has the privilege to work with fishing cats, Malayan tapers, and Malayan tigers. Stuart, our fishing cat, came to us in 2015, and he was only one year old. He is now a whopping eight years, and he's actually approaching his senior living. But with that being said, he is still a phenomenal athlete. What we try to encourage in his day-to-day -day living is to showcase his amazing swimming abilities. So fishing cat are designed to be excellent swimmers. They have these shorter tails, a little bit longer legs, and the most amazing feature about the fishing cat is their webbed paws. So it allows them to be excellent hunters on land and also in the water. What he does is he uses all of his senses. He uses his sight, he uses the sense of touch, and he will also use his whiskers. So if the water actually is moving, that's when they would actually slightly stick their head down so the whiskers are in the water, and they would use those vibrations to sense where is the fish. And then he launches his paw out and uses his webbed paws and nails to grab the fish and bring him in. He also will dive. He will dive head first right into the pool to grab those fish. Trout are by far his favorite fish items, although he does enjoy his herring and mackerel and his smelt. Like all creatures on this planet, Stewart or fishing cats serve a really important role in their ecosystem. So fishing cats are found in southeastern Asia. So anywhere from Sri Lanka to India, Cambodia, and there has been some sightings of them in Malaysia. Fishing cat numbers have been decreasing in the wild. So research is very important to just not find out how the fishing cats live in their natural ecosystems, but to determine how many of them are out there still but there is still a lot of hope for the fishing cats due to community outreach and support. Fishing cats are not necessarily very common in North American zoos, so any way that we can be an ambassador for this amazing species, when people get to come and see Stuart showcase some of his amazing abilities, I think that's one way we can connect. Fishing cats are extremely elusive in the wild, and that's why there's not a lot of research done or known about fishing cats. So anything we can learn from Stuart, we would love to apply to his brethren out in their ecosystems.